Hey there and welcome back to the Side of Burritos YouTube channel. Today we're going to go over how to install Graphene OS on a Google Pixel. So a quick disclaimer before we begin, if you follow the process I'm about to demonstrate, your phone will be completely erased. So before you start, please back up all data, contacts, calendars, messages, and pics. So on August 5th, 2021, Apple announced it'll be scanning photos on your device that are uploaded to iCloud for child abuse imagery. I made a video a couple weeks ago that explains what Apple plans to do a bit more in depth and talks about my concerns I have with this local device scanning. This announcement by Apple is what prompted me to switch back to Android after being on Apple for the last 11 years. This video will show you the step-by-step -step process of me installing Graphene OS on a Pixel 5, but it will also work on the following devices. You might be wondering why we are installing something meant for privacy on a Google phone. Turns out Google makes devices that are pretty secure and privacy friendly when it comes to hardware. By replacing the software, we get a secure and privacy friendly device. So before we start, here's one tip I learned the hard way. You need to have a device that supports OEM unlocking. Now, what exactly does that mean and how do you find out? So the first phone I purchased was a Pixel 4a off eBay that said it was Verizon locked. I've known in the past that if you call a carrier, you can get the phone unlocked. I called Verizon, they said the phone was unlocked already, and after hours of research, I learned that Verizon encrypts the bootloader on pixels they sell. This means that you're unable to unlock the bootloader and alter it to have it boot to a different ROM, such as Graphene OS. Thankfully, the eBay seller accepted returns, so for a small fee, I returned the phone. I had a friend tell me about a site called Gazelle to buy phones, so I jumped on there and looked at what they had. I did some searching and saw that they had an unlocked Pixel 4a, done deal, ordered it, and it was on the way. I got the phone again, and OEM unlocking was unavailable. This time I learned that the phone can be carrier unlocked, but that doesn't mean the phone is truly unlocked. If it's a Verizon Pixel that's carrier unlocked, the bootloader will still be encrypted, and there is no way to enable OEM unlocking. So at this point I've purchased two phones and I wanted to make sure the next one was actually going to work. So I messaged some eBay sellers and asked if OEM unlocking was grayed out. All the ones I messaged said yes, so I gave up on finding a phone on eBay. So I'm a couple weeks into trying to find a phone when I come across a site called Swapo.com. Never used it before, but I was willing to risk it. Swapo didn't have any Pixel 4a or 4a 5Gs when I looked, but they did have a Pixel 5, and the seller posted an image that clearly showed OEM unlocking was supported. So take my journey as a warning. If you're going to buy a used phone, Confirm with the seller before you purchase it that it supports OEM unlocking, so you don't need to buy three different phones. So with that out of the way, let's get into it. So now the first step in this process is to enable OEM unlocking. And now for that, we're going to swipe up, go to settings. We're going to click on about phone, scroll down to the bottom where it says build number and you're gonna tap this until it says you are now developer. And we now see you are now developer. That means that the developer settings are now enabled on the phone. By default, these are disabled on the Pixel. So we're gonna go back, I'll go to system, advanced, developer options. And from here, we are going to enable OEM unlocking. Read the warning, click enable. So basically what enabling that option does is it unlocks the bootloader on the phone. And what the bootloader does is that's what's responsible for actually turning on the phone and for booting up the device. By default, that is locked for security reasons, so enabling this option allows us to alter it, which is what we need to do to actually install Graphene OS. So now that we have that enabled, we can scroll down on here. Flashing is non-root, that does not apply to us. And so the next step is booting into the bootloader interface. So in order to boot into the bootloader interface, you need to hold the volume down button when the phone is booting up. So we're gonna go ahead and power off the phone. Click on power off, give that a minute. So once the phone is shut down, we're gonna go ahead and hold the volume down button and press the power button. We go to the power button. And we can now see that the phone is in the bootloader interface. So once that's completed, the next step is to actually connect the phone via USB to the computer. Once the phone's connected, the next step is to actually unlock the bootloader. And if we look on the screen right now, we can see the green locked text. That means the bootloader is currently locked. So we're gonna go ahead and click the blue button. We see Pixel 5 here, click on that, click connect. So basically what this screen is doing is it's giving us a quick warning about the bootloader and what we're doing, which is unlocking it. The default option is do not 
unlock bootloader. We want to unlock it, so hit the volume button to select the other option, which is unlock the bootloader. Press the power button to select it. We're going to wait a minute for the code in the background to run. And now if we take a look down there where it says device state, we see the red text now that says device unlocked. So now that our bootloader is unlocked, the next step is to obtain the Graphene OS factory images for your device. So for that, we're going to go ahead and click on download release. It found the latest image, currently downloading it. And now with the magic of editing, I will make this appear a lot quicker than it actually was. So now that the download has completed, the next step is to actually flash the image to the phone, which basically means it'll replace the default install by Google on the Pixel. So we can go ahead and click on flash release. So we can see here that zip file that was downloaded, the image of Graphene OS was actually flashed to the device successfully. The last step in the process is to actually go ahead and relock the bootloader. This is an important security precaution. You can go ahead down here and read the exact reasons of it. So now we're gonna go ahead and click on lock bootloader. Again, we need to change the option, hit the volume up key on the phone. We see it says lock the bootloader, press the power button. And we can now see that green text down here, device state locked which means that we now have successfully relocked the bootloader so now at this point we can go ahead and boot the phone which means you can just press the power button here where it says start give that a minute for graphene to boot up the quick warning just says your device is loading a different operating system which is expected because that's what we're doing and we can now see that graphene os is showing go ahead and click next english go ahead and select your time zone once you do that, click next, set up Wi-Fi later. I have no SIM card in this phone, so this doesn't matter right now. I'm just gonna leave this enabled for now. Set this up later, pin, set that up. I'm gonna do that later. I'm not gonna be restoring from a backup. So the other thing recommended per the documentation is to disable that OEM unlocking that we originally enabled. So for that, go back to settings, scroll down to about phone, Tap on build number again to enable developer settings. Go back, hit system, advanced, developer options. Disable OEM unlocking. Just mentions please restart your device to enable protection. We'll do that a little bit later. And then also turn off developer settings. Unless you're a developer or testing some apps on your phone, you don't really need those enabled. And at this point, you have now successfully installed Graphene OS on your Pixel.